I am a big fan of keeping it simple. And for me, simple is a unique identifier. And here you see that unique identifier. And that is because I can use the strength of the search engine that is built into almost every single application to find information quickly. And today what we're going to talk about really is the ability to take notes. How am I keeping the information that I need critical to the task so that I can quickly come up to speed and get started right where I left off? And that's what we're going to go through today. So today we're going to look for this specific task here, Test Twillow. So we're going to go ahead and open that. And you see here within Planner, you have the ability to go ahead and put in notes and comments. And for some of my tasks, when it's not that big of a deal, I might do that. Most of the time, though, you'll see an indicator here, ON2. All right. And here, usually I'll have it clicked as well, OneNote. And that indicates that there's more information on this task, more details inside of OneNote. So let's go ahead and look inside of OneNote. Now I've already found the task, but I would just come over here and do a search for that task. You see it comes right up. And this is an example of how, what I would do for notes. See, these are handwritten notes, right, that I've used a tablet to do. And here I'm doing some tests. I'm, I'm trying to figure out a problem. Uh, and this one happens to be with building this simple IVR greeting with Twillow. So here I'm testing it, right? I'm, I'm looking exactly what I'm doing. I'm putting in here, by the way, what, you know, where I'm putting things as well. So I do have a database that I keep things in that I'm making note of here. I put some information that I need in LastPass, my username and password to get in there is in there. And that's what it's called in LastPass. So I'm putting critical information inside of this note and then I'm testing and I'm using within OneNote this to do feature. And I can say whether this test failed how I got it successful, what I went down through, the actions that I took. Maybe I'm putting in what the IVR looks like that I'm connecting to and how that all flows. I'm testing. And you can see here where tests have failed, what the summary is, why it's not working. And then I can even embed videos right into it on instructions on things that I found helpful. And then I can post additional information related to the research and work that I'm doing. So here I can see, for example, everything's working well, but my second question failed. So I need to go back and check. So as soon as I come into my planner task to do this and it becomes something I need to do here, I can immediately know that I have something else to do. And I, excuse me, I can immediately know what it is that I need to do. I just spin right down to the bottom here. I see what boxes are not checked and I go immediately directly to that test and I can get right back started. You see the trick here is to capture the information in a way that it's helpful for you so that you don't have to spend 10 or 20 minutes getting back up to speed on something. And this is extremely helpful when you're working on tasks that you may not want to do. Now, I'm not implying that testing twi Twillow is something I don't want to do because I actually enjoy it. But, but it is really designed for, you know, things that may be hard to get started or they're really complicated and you're trying to figure things out. Well, the better the notes you take, I promise you, the better you'll be able to ramp up and get that job done quickly. You don't want to spend 20 minutes coming up to speed on something. Just document it really well and you come up to speed immediately. And here I can see that there's a next step, right? This is the next step. So when I get done with that, I need to look up what this next step is. So I can just close that task and I can go up here to my filter and I can do a search. And now I can see what that next step is for me. Now I can also sort down if I had specific label or when what the priority is and things like that. So I can use different things to find that information. But I, I found it right here pretty easy, right? These are 37. So I know it's not that. So so great way to use planner and OneNote with 
each other. Now, there are ways to embed URLs. I, I'm just not, just isn't something that I do. I just keep it simple with the number and move back and forth with the data. Whoops, I thought that was still up. So I use the strength of the search engine in both OneNote as well as the strength of the search engine inside a planner to quickly find the information that I need and document the tasks that I'm working on well so that I can come up to speed immediately when that task comes due.